today we can discuss this question from lead code problem number 279 perfect square so in this question you are given a positive 9 integer n find the least number of perfect squares numbers with sum equal to n okay so for example for n equal to 12 the least number of squares required are 3 because 4 plus 4 plus 4 which are square of 2 equal to 12 For thirteen, you require two squares, four and nine. So you have to do it for any n. Okay. So let's do it with example. We can use Dynamic Programming for this approach because that will be very easy. Okay. For forming zero, it's zero. For forming one, it's one because one can be formed with one square and uh, only one number is required. For two, okay. So what we can do is we can do a for loop. For that i, so for for example, we have to find how many square numbers are required to form two. We can do a a number from under root two to that number. And what we can do is we can do a floor of it. So under root two is one. So we can do a loop from one to one. And we subtract two minus one square, so it's one. So we will use one square one time, and now one is remaining. So what are the minimum number of squares required to form one? It's one. So the answer is two. I hope you understand. You will be more clear at four. So three, it's three. Okay. So now what for four? We'll do an under root of four, and it's two. So it means that we can there are two numbers which are square and which are less than four. Okay, so one square is less than four, and two square is less than equal to four. So it can be formed using these two number only. Okay, so if I used four minus one square. It is equal to three. So if I use one, then for forming three, how many numbers are required? Three. So total are total of four numbers are required. Or what? What, what we can do is we can use two square, which is equal to zero plus one because we have used this number. So it's equal to one. So which is the minimum one? So it means. One, only one whole square is used to form four. That's all. That's correct. So for five, we do under root of five. It's also four. Uh, sorry, it's it's two. So what we can do is we do for one to two, we subtract five. Minus one square and five minus two square and see which is the minimum one. So it's two. Okay. So that's how we can fill the array. So let's write the code here. What I'm talking. So we can make a vector of a because we have to go from Zero to n, so we can make an vector for vector for n plus one. Then do a for loop from i equal to one. i is less than equal to n. i plus plus. Okay. Now we will have to store the minimum of each iteration. So we take a mini variable and like make it to a very large value, one nine. Then we iterate over the possible cases j equal to one and j into j. Because we do our under root, so it's easy to do j into j. J into j is less than equal to i. Because we have to do it till here. Because as you can see, this is the index i. We have find out the under root of this index. So for four, we have under root this number, which is the index. So we do our under root of this i and j plus plus, and then mini is equal to minimum of Mini, comma a of i 
minus j into j and we have to add one here and after this this for loop we have to make a of i equal to mini and in the end we have to return a of perfectly fine and submitted so it's submitted i hope you understand the logic if you still have any doubts please mention down in the comment box and thank you for watching this video i'll see you next